okay, this is the pre-algebra section, and you'll only see this if you get uh, five or twelve, five out of twelve or less on the EA section, the elementary algebra section. That's the first section of the test. So um, on the first problem here, and you need to get about thirteen out of seventeen on this right to get you up to Math ninety. So uh, you need to get a lot of these right. First problem says Dave has a piece of material 30 inches long. He needs to cut it into pieces that are two and a half inches long. How many pieces that are two and a half inches long can Dave cut? So to determine that, we need to take the 30 divided by the two and a half. And to do that, you need to take 30 divided by two and a half. Two and a half is the same as switching that two and a half. That'd be two times two is four plus one is five. So 30 divided by five half halves. Well, that 30 is the same as 30 over one. Divided by 5 halves is the same as times 2 over 5. So at this point, all we need to do is, well, 5 goes into 30 6 times, and we just have 6 times 2, or 12. And that would be the answer to that problem, 12 pieces. On problem number 2, it says Mike makes $28,000 a year. If he gets a 4% raise, what will his salary be next year? So I took 28,000 times 4% is 0.04. And I'll just take 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 8 is 32, carrier 3, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. Now since we got two more uh, decimal places to the right, i got to move the decimal point two places over here to the left, and I get that his raise is $1,120. That might be a choice, but it's incorrect because it wants to know what will his new salary be. So we take his raise, add it to his salary, the 28000 plus the 1,120 gives you $29,120 will be his new salary. On well, problem number three, it says Tammy can walk four blocks in 37 minutes. Uh, at this rate, how long will it take her to walk 36 blocks? Well, a non-algebraic way to do this is to realize that 36 is nine times bigger than four. So in other words, all we have to do then is multiply the 37 times nine. Okay, 36 divided by nine, 30, sorry, 36 divided by 4 is 9, so my answer would be 9 times 37. If you take 37 times 9, 9 times 7 is 63, and 9 times 3 is 27, plus the 6 is 33, so I get uh, 333 minutes. If you needed to say how many hours and minutes, we'll take 60 into this. 60 goes into this 5 times with 33 left over, so 5 hours and uh, 33 minutes. Now let's shoot up some of my area here to do this problem. Uh, to take on problem number four, it's just five twelfths plus five ninths. You have to get a common denominator when you're add, adding or subtracting. Now what you could do is go up multiples of 12 until you come up to an answer value that nine will go into, like uh, nine doesn't go into 12. How about if we double this, 24, nine doesn't go into 24. But if we triple this, 36, nine goes into 36. So the common denominator is 36. And I just say, well, let's see, 12 goes into 36 uh, four, three times. Three times five is 15. Plus, nine goes into 36 four times. Four times five is 20. Adding these, 20 plus 15 is 35. So 35, 36 would be the answer to that problem, 35, 36. Okay, problem number five says if the average of eight numbers is 52, what is their sum? Well, the trick here is if the average of eight numbers is 52, then we basically have eight numbers of 52. So just take 52 times eight. I'll do that off the side down here somewhere. Let's see. 52 times eight. Uh, 52 times eight. That's 16. Carrier one. That makes 41. So the sum of those numbers is 416. Uh, problem number six. Five sevenths as a percent. So five sevenths is the same as five divided by seven. So just take the seven into five. Here's my decimal point. Seven doesn't go into five, so that's a zero. Seven goes into 57 times. That gives me 49. Subtract. Bring down another zero. Seven goes into 10 one time. One times seven is seven. Subtract. That's three. Bring down another zero. Seven goes into 34 times. And then that would be 28. So however far you need to go. But uh, now switching this decimal, 0.7142%, move it two places to the right, and you get 71.4%. On well, problem number seven, it says what is 45% of 60? Of means time, so multiply uh, 0.45 times 60. Five times zero is zero, five times six is 30. Put a zero down, now go to this. Four times zero is zero, four times six is 24. Add these, you get 2,700, and mark off two places for your two digits, and you get 
27. So 27 is the answer to that problem. Problem number 8 says the train leaves at 1.52 and arrives at 3.12 is the time it arrives. How many minutes did it take for the train to reach its destination? Well, we got to see how many minutes went by from 1.52 up to 3.12. Well, let's go up to the next hour here. It takes 8 more minutes to get you up to 2 o'clock, 60 more minutes to get you to 3 o'clock, and 12 more minutes to get you to 3.12. If we add up these minutes, we get 80 minutes or 1 hour and 20 minutes. Problem number nine says, what is five-thirds of 90? Of, again, means time, so we just need to multiply these. Easiest thing to do would be to take three into 90, and you get 30, and five times 30 is 150, and that would be the answer to problem number nine. 10 is 500 times 2.74, so I brought down the two zeros. Now multiply the five through. Five times four is 20. Carrier two, five times seven is 35, plus seven makes 37. 3, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. Now mark off your two places, cause your two decimal point, and you get 1,370. Problem number 11 is 84 divided by 0 0.02, so that's taking 0 0.02 into 84. Now i got to move the decimal point two places to the right here, so I'll need to add two zeros to this, and here's my decimal point, and here's my decimal point here, so really we're just taking 2 into 8,400. 2 goes into 8 4 times evenly, 2 goes into 4 2 times, and that will do it right there, 4,200. And uh, the next problem, uh, let's go to problem number 12. Problem number 12 is 925 minus 379. Well, let's just borrow one from here, make this a 15, that would be 6. I need to borrow one from here, 11 minus 7 is 4 and 8 minus 3 is 5, so I get 546. And for the last couple, I'll need a new sheet of paper. Okay, problem number 13 is 5 ninths minus 3 fifteenths. And to do this problem, we'll have to get a common denominator. A common denominator between 9 and 15. Well, 9 doesn't go into 15. If we double it, we get 30. 9 doesn't go into 30. If we triple it, we get 45. And 9 does go into 45. 9 goes into 45 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25. Minus 15 goes into 45, 3 times 3 times 3 is 9. And then uh, 25 minus 9 is 16 45ths. And then you can check and see if that would reduce, but it, it doesn't. 2 is the only factor of 16, and 2 doesn't go into 45. So the answer to that problem would be 16 45ths. Uh, problem number 14 says write 7.02 as a fraction. Well, 7.02 is really 7, and see, this is tenths, this is hundredths. So it's 7 and 2 one hundredths. 2 one hundredths reduces to 1 50th, so 7 and 1 50th, or you could write that as if you want an imp improper fraction, 50 times 7 is 350, plus 1 is 351 50ths. That's fine too, so just see how it's written as a, uh, as a question on the test. Problem number 15 says, let's go down to that one, it says Tom won some money in, a, in the lottery. If he spent one third of it, on a boat, one sixth of it on a car, what fraction of the lottery money does he have left? So let's see how much he spent. One third plus one sixth of it he spent. So we'll add these two together, the one third plus the one sixth. So one third plus one sixth, well one third, well let's just get a common denominator, which is six. Three goes into six two times, two times one is two, plus six goes into six one times, one times one is one. So I get three six, which is the same as one half. So he spent half of his money. So how much money does he have left? Well, one minus one half is one half. Half of it is left. Okay, problem number 16 says what whole number is closest to the square root of 38.9? Now, you don't have a calculator to use on this, but if you think about it, the square root of 36 is 6, and the square root of 49 is 7. So what is the 38.9 closest to? Well, it's closer to 36, so therefore this decimal right here must be closest to this whole number of 6. So the answer is 6 on that problem. On problem number 17, it says that a bed is 6 and 1 feet, fifth feet long. Uh, the material to make the sheet for the bed uh, uh, needs to be one and a fourth times as long as the bed. How long does the sheet needs to be? So it needs to be one and a fourth times bigger than the length of the bed, which is six and a fifth. So in other words, I need to take one and a fourth times six and a fifth 
is what I need to do. So 6 and a fifth times 1 and a fourth switch these to improper fractions. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 1 is 30 one fifths times 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 fourths. Now at this point the fives cancel out and I just get 31 fourths. Now it may leave it like that 31 fourths or it may write it as a mixed number. 4 goes into 31 7 times with 3 left over. So 7 and 3 fourths feet would be the answer to that problem. And that will do it with this practice test here.